viewers welcome back in this video session we will see caustic embrittlement actually caustic embrittlement it is one of the ill effect and ill effect it is due to what unsuitable water unsuitable water means what that water containing the impurity that resulting into what scale sludge formation primary foaming okay then corrosion and caustic embrittlement in this video session we will learn what is meant by the caustic embrittlement right and how to prevent formation of caustic embrittlement now let's begin with our topic caustic embrittlement right caustic embrittlement caustic embrittlement it is caused due to highly alkaline condition of the water right for softening of the water we can use soda lime water and that soda lime water containing sodium carbonate that is na2co3 sodium carbonate so for softening of water we can use soda lime water and soda lime water containing unreacted sodium carbonate so unreacted sodium carbonate undergoes hydrolysis reaction at very high pressure right it can be done at very high pressure so sodium carbonate plus water then there is a formation of what NaOH sodium hydroxide highly alkaline conditions can be developed plus carbon dioxide is obtained now this due to formation of highly alkaline condition in water then it is resulting into what leakage okay a capillary size small pores can be created at inner surface of the boiler due to formation of alkaline condition your boiler metal becomes what brittle right so this NaOH this NaOH react with what your boiler metal and that boiler metal can be what Fe twice Fe twice Fe plus NaOH sodium hydroxide plus O2 then there is a formation of whatever sodium ferrite that is twice NaFeO3 this is called as whatever sodium ferrite plus hydrogen gas can be obtained right see caustic embrittlement caustic embrittlement it is caused due to highly alkaline condition of the water for softening of water we can use what soda lime water right and this soda lime water it containing unreacted sodium carbonate and this unreacted sodium carbonate undergoes hydrolysis reaction at very high pressure then there is a formation of what sodium hydroxide plus carbon dioxide so highly alkaline conditions can be developed due to this a capillary size of the small pores can be created okay your metal surface becomes what brittle so this NaOH will be react on what your metal which is metal boiler metal so twice Fe plus twice NaOH in presence of oxygen right there is formation of concentration cell so it converted into what sodium ferrite and in this way breaks can be occur into the boiler metal now how we can prevent the formation of caustic embrittlement caustic embrittlement it can be prevented for softening of water instead of sodium carbonate use sodium phosphate for water softening you remember this one so caustic embrittlement it can be prevented by addition of sodium phosphate instead of what sodium carbonate for water softening then you can adjust the ph of water is in between 8 to 9 then also the caustic embrittlement it can be prevented even you can add the organic chemicals which organic chemicals that is lignite and tannin so due to addition of the lignite and tannin it will block the some minor cracks in the boiler right so in this way we can prevent the formation of the what caustic embrittlement how caustic embrittlement can be prevented it can be prevented by for softening of water 
use sodium phosphate instead of what sodium carbonate this is the first second remedy is you have to adjust the ph of water is in between 8 to 9 then also plastic embrittlement can be prevented and third remedy is due to addition of organic chemicals which chemicals lignin and tannin so addition of lignin and tannin it will block the some minor cracks right so we can easily prevent formation of the caustic embrittlement i will again recap the whole concept caustic embrittlement caustic embrittlement it can be caused due to highly alkaline condition of the water for softening of water we can use soda lime water and that soda lime water containing unreacted sodium carbonate undergoes hydrolysis reaction at high pressure converted into what NaOH right and this NaOH react with the boiler metal and then there is a formation of what sodium ferrite right your metal surface becomes what brittle a small pores capillary size can be created how it is prevented it can be prevented by using sodium phosphate instead of sodium carbonate or water softening it can be also prevented by addition of organic chemicals like as a lignin tannin due to addition of this it will block the some minor crack and it can also prevented by adjusting the ph of water is in between 8 to 9 so i hope that you understood the concept of what you were caustic embrittlement so i am concluding now thank you very much for watching this video thank you very much thank